This call is being recorded.
Breathe in. Exhale out. Now we are going to count down from five to one to help you to relax just a little bit more. With each descending number, let yourself go a little bit deeper into consciousness. Five. Four. Three. Going deeper and deeper. Two. And one, deeply relaxed, letting go of the extremities of your body, just letting your breath, the breath of life, take you deeper into yourself. Now put all of your attention at your heart center, the fourth chakra. We are not going to go through the entire process because you all know it by now. Just simply focus on your fourth chakra and then see the three lower and the three above the fourth. So all seven chakras now in their colors and spinning and alignment. And the two that are below the earth and the three that are above your head, not below the earth, below your feet, and the three, two, three above your head. Very good. And let the earth now send energy up to your feet, up your ankles, feel the energy rising up your legs, to your knees, above your knees, to your waist and up and out your arms, relaxing every part of your body as this energy moves up, and up and up. And at the same time, feel the energy rising in your chakra centers, rising up through the chakras. Now, as we do, put your attention at your heart center and your sixth chakra. In the middle of your forehead, the third eye center. And create the heart-mind connection here now by sending energy from the high heart center to the sixth chakra in the middle of the forehead, the pineal gland, and back down again to the high heart center and around and around, creating a vortex that is spinning clockwise, going from heart to sixth chakra and back around again and around and around, creating a vortex of energy. And in that vortex of energy, your consciousness is pulled into it. Feel yourself being pulled down into that vortex. And that brings you into your, the middle of your forehead, looking out through the third eye. And you exit now through that third eye as if it was a door or a window out into the astral world. So step out and see your body sitting there, laying there, whatever it might be. As we did yesterday, last, last night now, we want you to quickly go to the ocean, wherever that might be for you. Be on the beach, see the ocean in front of you, feel it in front of you, feel the sand on your feet, listen to the wind. Feel the salt air, smell the salt air. Feel the vibrations coming from the ocean, creating the negative ions all around you, that peaceful, calm feeling that it brings, a blissful feeling at times. But 
now specifically, listen to the ocean as it comes in and receives out. Comes in and receives out into the rhythm of the ocean. Match the ocean rhythm with your own breathing. Oh, it will be rather slow breathing, very relaxed breathing. Feel the ebb and the flow of the ocean, of Gaia. She breathes now. You can take it all the way from the breathing from the ocean to the breathing of Gaia herself. Connect with that breathing. The ebb and flow. Energy and a rest. Connect now. Feel yourself now on that beach if you have not already. And as we did last night, step out of your astral body there on the beach and see your astral body there now. Maybe you have already done that. Lift up above your astral body, see your body there walking on the beach. Your feet, your astral feet in the sand, the water lapping up around your feet, around your ankles. Feel the coolness, the crispness of the water. So as again, as in last evening, you are in your physical body, you are in your astral body, and now you are in a third consciousness outside in three different places at once. And then just as we also did last evening, we are taking you through all of the steps until we are ready to move beyond what we did last night with you. So now in your astral body, move into your etheric body, your energy body. Your astral is your emotional body. Your etheric is your energy body. Flip into your energy body now and go through all seven levels of the etheric realm. If you want, as you go through the etheric realm, take a look around quickly and see the cities, the many etheric cities. You hear of the city of light or the cities of light? They are etheric cities. They are there. They are real. And they are waiting for you. But go all the way up to seven layers till you get to that barrier separating the etheric and the causal and step now through into the causal plane. Take on your causal body. And once you are in your causal body, move up through the levels of the causal plane to the mental plane. And then take in your mental body, which in most cases does not have much form, but it can be if you wish. And then Come to the rainbow bridge or the, come all the way to the seven layers of the mental plane and then step through the barrier there and into the rainbow bridge. Move across the rainbow bridge. Come to that beautiful, brilliant white light. Step into that white light, merge again with your higher self. Feel the presence of your higher self. And again, you are your higher self. Just as you are coming to connect with your higher self, your higher self has a higher self as well. 
And your higher self can connect to its higher self. So from there, from your higher self, with your higher self now, and get the uh, get the image that works best for you with your higher self. Get that image, however he or she may show themselves to you. Once there, be in that body, be one with it, and then move up through the planes of this level of consciousness, level of consciousness of your higher self, where your higher self mostly resides. And go up, 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 or rather deeper into consciousness, deeper and deeper, and come to the point where you have connected to your the higher self of your higher self. And see what he or she or it would look like, what that appears to you as. And know, just as you are connected with your higher self, you are connected with the higher self of your higher self. You are one there as well. We are pure essence. I want you to say within yourself, I am essence. I am essence. I am not matter. I am essence. And connect now with the higher self of your higher self. And once you have done that and you feel that connection, you feel that oneness, however it might be, whether it is an explosion of colors or just a, an incredible sense of blissful feeling, a, a complete sense of oneness, certainly calmness and loving, But the higher self of your higher self has a higher self. And you can go up past that as well now. And you can continue on up all the way until you get to what is called the monad. The monad that began it all for you. Where you became you. From that monad, from that higher self, you might say. For at one time, there was a creation, which was you. At one point, you were unmanifest. Then you became manifest as a creation. And then as that creation, you created down from yourself down in levels, lower and lower in vibration. Now you are at the highest vibration that you as yourself have yet been to. So feel that connection. I have self of your higher self, of your higher self, of your higher self, all the way until yourself. You as the creation. Now, you must already be thinking, well, if I was created, then there must certainly be a creator. And of course, yes, there is a source. There is a universal source. Now, there, of course, are many universes. There is this universal source. 
And you are now going to go be a little bit different now. You remember when we have done with you on your Sunday times, where we have done with you, where you go up through the solar system and into the galaxy and the central sun of the galaxy and the central suns of all of the galaxies, on and on through all of the central suns until you reach the central sun of the universe. So this is what you are going to do now. So allow yourself to go through all of those central suns. You are connected directly as the self that you are to all of these central suns of the universe. This you could consider the highest level of quantum entanglement, quantum field. This is a larger field than what you may have imagined up to this point. This is the universal field, universal mind. You are going to go all the way now to the central sun of the universe. And previously, when you came to this central sun of the universe in your astral body, or you did not go through this entire integration process to get there on one of your Sunday times. But this time now you are ready. You could not integrate with that central sun of the universe in your astral body, but you can now. So as you are looking at the central sun of the universe, as it is right there in front of you, Look at the immenseness of this sun. Think of your own sun in the solar system and how each sun in the galaxy and the suns of the galaxies are all larger and larger and larger. And this one is beyond measure. Feel the emanation from this sun, from universal source. Feel the vibrations coming from the sun. See the explosions on the sun, the white light. This is the origin of the light for this universe. All light comes from this universal sun. You thought it was just from your sun. Is not. Now feel yourself being drawn. If not already, feel yourself being drawn toward this sun now and begin to merge into it. Merge into it. And as you merge into it, realize that you are one with it. That you are connected, have always been connected, have never not been connected. You are part of this source energy. You came from this source energy. Now there are universal suns beyond this but we are not ready for that at this time. We are ready for this connection, this integration, this sense of oneness. Feel the oneness all around you, the blissful feeling, the love, the unconditional love that comes from the source, source of all things in this universe. And you come from that source. You are that source. For if all things around you are source energy, then how could you not be source energy? So if you are wondering, 
How could I be source? That is how. Now, from this source energy, a beam of energy is going to come down through all of your higher selves. Wait for it. It has not come yet, but it is going to come down through all of your higher selves, all the way down through your mental body, your causal body, your etheric, your astral, and into your physical body. And now, the energy is shooting down through all of those of yourselves. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And it is a, an incredible energy that brings complete healing to your body as it comes. And if you believe strongly enough, every ill, every unbalanced situation in your body will become balanced. Whatever it might be, eyesight, hearing, walking, illnesses of any type, any type of autoimmune disorder of any kind, aches, pains, including back pains, leg pains, whatever it might be, can be completely and 100% healed in this moment if you allow it and if you believe strongly enough for as my son said it is the faith that has healed you It is the Father within that doeth the works, where I do the works. I send this healing energy to you now. I am the one. I am that I am. And you are who you are. You are the I am as well. And we have a complete and utter connection that has never been dissolved and can never be dissolved. I am one with you and you are one with me. You are my children, have always been my children and will always be my children. And as my children, just as any parent would want with their child, I want for you to be whole now. I want for you to be completely at ease within your body and know that your body is but a vessel that you have taken on at this time, but a vessel that must be completely whole or the missions that are ahead for you. And it is my decree at this time that your body shall become whole. But you must overcome whatever programming there still might be within you and be ready to let go of whatever crutches you have been using, whether it is pills, any types of medication, glasses, hearing aids, crutches of any type, it is time now to throw them away. I know that that will be difficult for some because you are attached 
You are attached to the illnesses. You are attached to the poor eyesight. You are attached to poor hearing. But these are karmic situations that followed you into this life. But you have heard from many of my children that have said, there is no more karma for you. Karma is done. The karmic wheel has stopped. And it is time now for you to get off of that karmic wheel. For in reality, there is no karmic wheel. It is a figment of the imagination of man. It is time now to let go of all of this. And I decree that it is this moment that you are to let go of all, all that holds you back in any way. Let go and let Source move freely through your bodies now with no encumbrances, no blockages, of any of your meridians. It is finished. Now please find your way back, back from this connection to the universal source and move back down through your higher selves. Go back to the way you came. Do not shortcut it. Go back, each one down, higher self to higher self to higher self, to the rainbow bridge, Cross back across the rainbow bridge into your mental body, down through the layers of mental, into the causal plane, down through the levels of causal plane, to etheric, shedding your bodies each time as you come down, come down lower and lower in vibration. You reach the pinnacle of the how high vibration could go. Now it is time to Reduce your vibration once again so that you can be back within your physical body. Come back down through the etheric, through the astral planes, and finally into your physical body. But know as you enter your physical body, that flash of energy, that energy that came from the source directly, specifically for each one of you is there in your body to purify everything there so that literally when you wake in the morning and you look in the mirror, you will see a different you. You will see your higher self looking back at you. And if you are older in age, in your physical body, begin to see yourself as younger and younger and younger. It could be all done at once. You could look in the mirror and see yourself as 30 years old again. But that takes a tremendous amount of letting go of the programming. But if you cannot do that, and most cannot, or are not ready for it, rather, you can do it in incremental movements. A little bit younger, a little bit younger, a little bit more spry, 
a little bit more able to jump around, dance, the wrinkles being less and less and less, your hair coming back to its fullness, whatever might be blockages within your internal system through your meridian system will be gone. No more blockages. Those that have special eating needs will go away. You will not need to have these anymore. Again, if you believe it, that is not to say to go willy-nilly and start eating tons of meat and, and drinking and doing drugs or anything of this nature. No, you must do everything in moderation. But find the balance within you. This is all about coming into balance. The physical body is meant to live on and on and on for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. It is your mind and the programming that has curtailed that and brought you down to a minuscule lifetime as far as the time frame goes. And we can say just as Source said, it is finished. If you believe it to be so. If you wear glasses and you are ready, throw them away. Do not put them in a drawer. If you put them in a drawer or a cabinet, they will be there for you to take back out. Now, if you cannot do that, take them off and leave them off as much as you can. Exercise your eyes. Exercise your hearing. Exercise your limbs. Trust. The one that is using breathing machine here, turn it off, my dear. Not in this moment now, no, but shortly. You will not need it anymore if you believe enough. The one that can do the jitterbug, and we literally say you can, you can dance. We want to see you dance, dear brother. For anyone else here, do not let age keep you from having a full and enjoyable life for a long time yet to come. And we do mean exactly that, long time yet to come. There are, of course, contracts, and if you are not ready to break those contracts, then those contracts shall be fulfilled. You will find yourself on the other side, looking down and saying, well, I made it. You're still there. Ha, ha, ha. If you look at it that way, not so bad. But we are, of course, not saying that this is in the cards at this point for any of you, unless you choose it. We hope now you have all come back into a complete state of consciousness and circulation, fully revitalized and refreshed. If not, do it now. Now we have something for you. We want you to close your eyes once again. 
No, you're not going all the way back out. Do not think you're doing that again. But close your eyes and focus on your third eye now. Open your third eye. Not your physical eyes yet, but your third eye. Open it. Just as you have been working on, practicing. Open that third eye. And see now in the room here, those of you that are on the phone, you can be here. Just by thinking yourself here. Be here in this room. Or you will want to be here for this. Be here in this room. Your physical eyes yet closed, but your third eye wide open now. Open it up wide. And see into the room. And see the room now begin to expand and expand and expand. And as the room expands, the roof disappears. And you are seeing now out into the night sky and seeing the stars and the moon and how beautiful the night sky is. There is no time and space. You want, you can see all the way out to the solar system and out into the galaxy and beyond and beyond. But for now, stay here in the room and see out and see now, just as you did last evening. See the New Jerusalem and the Bethlehem star off to the right. And you may even see Pleiadian fleets out there, as well as Andromedan fleets. You will recognize them just by knowing their vibration. You do not need to know the colors or the shapes of their ships. Just by their vibration, you will know them. And see now those ships, still with your eyes closed, your physical eyes closed, but your third eye wide open. Now we will ask, does anyone see that? Yes. What do you yes. see? With your, keeping your eyes closed, your physical eyes closed, what do you see with your third eye? And be open here. My third eye became absolutely huge. Yes. And, um, and I saw the ship as you as you named them. And it was like the, um, uh, the residents on the ship were like waving flags or uh, waving, um, well, yeah, flags. Yes. As celebration and greeting. Yes. It would be good. Yeah. Wonderful. Another? Anyone else willing to share? They're giving us a light show. They're giving you a light show. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the point is, you are seeing them very clearly, are you not? Yes. Are all of you seeing them very clearly? Some not? What are you seeing? Those that are not, what are you seeing? Darkness. Do you not see the stars? Do you not see the ships? Were you able previously to be on the beach and see the ocean? Yes? Ah, so what it takes for you is to be in your astral body to be able to experience this. So if that is the case, just simply go out into your astral body and do the same thing. Go into your astral body, go out through your third eye, into your astral body. Now any further, do not go past that. But now with your astral body, look up. And now do you see? Yes? No? Some yes, some no. What is your saying? You can please everybody some of the time. How does that saying go? Please some of the time, part of the time, but not all the time. No. 
Whatever, we have the whole thing wrong here, but that is okay. Whatever. So you can or you can't. But now for those of you that can, at this point, get ready. Drum roll now. See with your third eye, keep it open. See those ships, see the light, see the colors, see all of this. And now open your physical eyes and see as well. There will be a glimpse yet of it. May not last long, but you'll get that glimpse, that bleed through effect into other dimensions. Did anyone have that? I did for an instant. Yes, for an instant. If you practice this, it will become more than an instant. You'll be able to have this at a moment command where you will be able to look up and see right through the roof of the building as the roof isn't even there with your physical eyes. Associated, of course, connected, of course, with your third eye. It is the third eye that is opening more and more that will enable this, what is being called this bleed-through effect or the glimpses that we have spoken of many times. This is a glimpse that you can get. And now, just as Kara said earlier, when you are done with this experience and you have come back fully, if you want, you can go outside and look up and see what is there. But you must do so with your third eye open. Using your physical eyes, but your third eye open. Okay? Okay. Then we are going to release channel. Chanti, peace be with you. Be the one. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>